I'm very pleased to be here today with Arar Jamil, who has decades in data and analytics leadership and in consultancy as well. Uh, he is passionate about advancing data-driven culture and data-driven capabilities. So thank you for coming. Thank you, Shade, for having me here. Uh, it's a pleasure. Now, why I'm excited to talk to you specifically is you and I will attend conferences and summits, speak at them, write articles about data strategy, and we still get asked a lot of questions, right? Fundamental questions like, what is data strategy? Uh, after all, there's no wiki page on it. Um, there's no Merriam and Webster dictionary definition, right? And so we all think we know what it is, but we get in these breakout sessions or after, and we continue to talk about it. So to you, Arar. What is enterprise data strategy? So I'll start with enterprise data strategy is different for different organizations because it truly depends on their business objectives. A data strategy starts with business objectives and ends with business objectives. No business objectives, no data strategy. So data strategy is a comprehensive plan that outlines how an organization collects, manages, analyzes, and leverages data to achieve its business objectives, right? So in today's world, uh, data is not just a byproduct of our digital lives. It is the lifeblood of the thriving organization and a well-crafted data strategy aligned to its business objectives is the key to unlocking its full potential. But really resonates with me when you said begins and ends with business objectives. It's like the anchor of your data strategy. How do you go about uncovering these business objectives? So for me, it's about talking to the stakeholders, right? Talking to all the way from C-suite to your frontline folks, because that's where you form your entire data strategy. And sometimes it's how you, how you leverage the data for your frontline workers, your operational analytics, and plus how you steer the C-suite into driving the business forward. So it's understanding their pain points, understanding what is not there today, and also being a thought leader. Out of my 21 years of uh, being in, in data and analytics, 15 years has been consulting. And being in this consulting world long enough to understand that each business is completely different. So when you talk to them, you understand them. And, and from that experience, when I bring the thought leadership, I know what are the gaps and how to fill and what, what they perceive and versus what, what we can provide. And that's the filling that gap is also extremely key. Okay, let's say we understand that data strategy starts and ends with business objectives, but how do you churn those objectives into data strategy? What are the components of an essential enterprise data strategy? If I have to broadly classify them into three different pillars, the first one is your data governance or data management. The second one would be the platform engineering or data engineering. Now, the third one, I would say analytics, data analytics. Now, talking about each one, just a little bit more. The first one, the data governance, is all about setting your clear goals, setting your data quality standards, setting your data policies and uh, data security standards and all of that, and, and identifying what are your true data assets. Mm -hmm. So once you know what are your data assets, you can then even go towards making uh, data as a product, using data as a product and, and creating more holistic uh, data products, right? So that's the data governance part. The second pillar is your data engineering or your platform engineering. Now this is where, again, you have to fall back on your business objectives. You also are trying to understand the five Vs of the data, you know, the velocity, the veracity, and all those things. You know? Sure. Um, and, and once you understand that, then you would put together your entire framework, the architect, the whole architecture together and say, okay, I'm, I'm going with either the cloud-first strategy or multi-cloud or what, and what are the different components that I should be using within that entire framework. All that is part of the platform engineering or data engineering, right? So once I have the data in my data lake, I would then establish that connected data framework. And that's where the, the third part, the third pillar, the analytics comes into play. Mm. So once the data is there in a connected ecosystem, you can do your exploratory data analysis with that. I could do citizen data science with that. I could create more holistic analytics products and uh, also reports, dashboards, and, and all of that. And, and here, I'm more focusing towards democratizing the data. 
where users can go in and self-serve either through queries or, or through just, you know, drag drop, creating their own stuff. But self-service or democratizing the data is where most companies are moving forward. In every generation, right, we're always talking about the rate of change um, and we're always comparing it and saying it's changing more rapidly. Well, this year, due to regenerative AI, I, I believe that yeah. we can make that solid argument. So my question then would be, how do you keep data strategy at the enterprise level current with all this massive rate of change? Somebody asked me this question recently, right? And that uh, brought, brought a smile on my face because growing up, uh, my mom used to always say, only, only study this part, 10th grade, and, you, and you're set for life. And then your 12th grade should say the exact same thing. Okay, this is the key thing. Just, just study this part and you're set. The same thing happened over and over again until my, you know, uh, my, uh, I did my bachelor's in engineering, computer science. Strangely, I ended up in IT, tech, right? <laughs> so yeah, this is where I would call out that mom was wrong. You know, she lied to me. And this is where you, this is where you constantly, constantly keep evolving. Every, almost, it's almost every day. This, this industry is rapidly changing, evolving all the time for good. And you need to be agile. You need to make sure that you are always there. You're always working on the latest and greatest technology. And what, with that, what you bring to the table for organizations is, is key for their transformation journey. One thing I know about you specifically, we, we talk offline about this, is how incessantly focused you are on, on data culture and, and really advancing that. Yeah. So what role does a data-driven culture play in respect to enterprise data strategy? So a data culture is extremely important to have, right? I mean, without your data culture, it's like a ship without a rudder. You know, it, it'll, it'll go somewhere, it'll take you, but it is not where you want to go, right? <laughs> so, so that's how important a data strategy is to an to a organization. So with the strategy, you will be able to drive your uh, business transformation, basically. So uh, pitfalls, lessons learned, things that we can learn from your experience or even, even your clients back in the day, um, what are the common pitfalls? So the common pitfalls is... Uh, clients not having the right investment, the right investment in technology, more importantly, the right investment in having data leaders. So a leadership at a data level or analytics level is extremely important, uh, I would say, and investing in technology as well. So you need to make sure that you invest mm -hmm. in technology and the right leaders who would then use the technology to bring that change to transform your business. But if you go one level deeper, not having clear data, not having those policies in place, and uh, not having the true data governance is, 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 is that pitfall. So what I see in multiple organizations is not having those, i would come back to the not having the right data leaders. So if you, if you invest in the right data leaders within the company, uh, set up a data management office or a chief data office uh, practice, then you would see, you start say, seeing the difference. You'd see how the data starts talking to you. My next question now, I've asked you before how you determine if your enterprise data strategy is successful, and you said to me, you measure it. <laughs> yeah. So let me ask a better question, a more poignant question. How do you measure success of your data strategy? You know, it's extremely important to measure, again, going back to that. Yes, I've learned. <laughs> right. So how do you measure it? So it's it's not just about measuring your business metrics, right? Mm -hmm. It's also measuring what you're trying to achieve. It's your benchmark it. So once we benchmark it and we and our project is complete, then we would again go back and 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 cycle and see how those metrics are doing. Mm -hmm. With that, you're able to measure. You now you're here to begin with. Now you're here, and and it's not just about business metrics or business, uh, you know, how, how good the business is doing. It's also about those metrics, what you target, what you're trying to achieve, how good they improve over a period of time is what is important. So we created a product called Route Analyzer, the previous company that I was working with. And with that, we benchmarked how good the on time is. What is the on time delivery today? What is the dispatch time today? How many tires per unit are we you know, delivering and so on? So after benchmarking all of that, then we created this product 
once this product is adopted and used over you know two three two three months, you we could see that the metrics vastly improved. Mm-hmm. Now with that you would say, okay, yeah, what does on time delivery of six percent improvement bring to you? Then you would go back to your finance metrics and say, okay, with that, how much how good was the customer satisfaction? With that, did it did it result in better sales or did it did it did it result in customer retention? It's all connected. That's why I was going back and saying, we need to build a connected data ecosystem where the finance metrics, the operation metrics, they're all connected so that when you are doing those data analysis, it's easier for you to connect the dots and build that whole story. Right. You're, you're, you're saying that business objectives are the anchor of everything about your enterprise data strategy. And then the measurement of those business outcomes is how you're effective. So I learned a lot today. This has been great for me. Thank you for being here. So pleasure being here. Thanks for having me.